Tonight, more discussions of fundraising to fix schools in Lexington Richland 5. That's where we find News 19's Peyton Lewis tonight. Peyton. Good evening, JR. Tonight here in the Lexington Richland 5 School District, members of the school board continued discussions about passing a $240 million bond, which would raise taxes for people living in the school district area. The money would be used for various projects throughout the school district. Uh, secure vestibules and the other is to upgrade security cameras. The, the next two sort of go together, a new Dutch Fork Elementary School which then allows you to renovate the existing Dutch Fork Elementary School into the Rich Lex Educational Center. And I know y'all seen the drawings where the um, highway widening is going to come right through the front door of, of the current um, elementary school. Then there are a number of renovations and, and reconditionings at, at several um, several schools. The bond referendum will be put on the ballot in November for all residents in the district to vote on. Some residents like Kim Murphy already oppose the referendum. She wishes the board was also voicing the tax increase that will come along with the bond referendum. If the referendum passes, taxes will be more for debt service to pay off the debt and we will pay more taxes to operate our schools. The district says that they will not raise the debt service millage rate as if that equates to no increased taxes. But just because the millage rate is an increase doesn't mean your taxes won't. Dr. Akil Ross, the superintendent for Lexington Richland 5, explained the district is considering both outcomes of having and not having a bond referendum. So with the referendum, we would have the, the funding to add on those wings, expanding the amount of students we can take at Chapin and Lake Murray. Uh, without the referendum, we're using our current facilities, our current facilities uh, to uh, relieve the growth. And the last time the Lexington Richland 5 school district passed a bond referendum was back in 2008. And this will be up again for discussion at their next meeting on May 20th. Reporting in Irmo, Peyton Lewis, News 19 WLTX.